awake. Well, hi there, little guy. I am Silas, but you can call me Mr. Comic Films if you're comfortable with that. Now, the reason I took you from your mother, um, about that while we're on the subject, uh, the reason I took you is because no one wanted to listen to me talk about Monster vs. Lore and show off my new figure, so I just had to improvise and make someone listen. So when I saw you were sitting there in the McDonald's lineup and your mother was ordering, I just had to grab you and run out. Yeah, so... Yeah, I'm gonna show you my different figures and explain to you their lore. So here we have the man himself, Godzilla. Yeah, he's pretty cool. If I'm being completely honest. Uh, this is the Playmates Heat Ray Godzilla from Godzilla X Kong The New Empire. Let's go over his articulation. His arms can swivel in and out. They can't swivel out though. His jaw can open and close. His tail is on a ball joint. Although a bit noisy. Let's look at his feet. His legs can, his feet can turn. Now Godzilla's lore is there's not much lore about him in the MonsterVerse. He is a giant species of lizard dinosaur-like titans. His father was killed by Muto Prime when he was a child. And uh, from there, he's, his job is to keep the natural order of the surface world. That's why you see him kill titans that disobey. His abilities consist of jumping, speed, super strength, and of course his atomic breath, which I will plug into his mouth right now and show you. Beautiful. All right. Let's look at Kong. Here we have Beast Glove Kong from the New Empire. Now I will break down why he has this Beast Glove. So, Monarch repurposed the Mechagodzilla tech into a glove for Kong when Shimo froze his hand, giving it severe frostbite. So then they upgraded him with this beast glove. Yes, bright yellow mechanical glove. I know it's amazing. And he also got a metal tooth. Of course, Playmates didn't paint it, but it's whatever. Now, that's enough of Kong. Let's look at Mecha Godzilla. Yep, here we have Mecha Godzilla from Godzilla vs. Kong with Proton Scream. We can see his articulation could be better. It looks, I wish he had elbow movement, but that's just, that's, that's fine. Anyway, his lore is he's actually possessed by the three-headed dragon himself, King Ghidorah. Yes, yes, it's pretty amazing. He's actually possessed by the dumb one of the three heads. That's why he's a lot more. That's why Mechagodzilla is so violent in the movie. Yeah. Shut up. Shut your mouth. I'm talking, you dumb baby. Anyway. That's why he's so aggressive with Godzilla. Because he hates him for killing him in the previous Godzilla movie. Uh. What did I say? Shut the hell up, you dumb infant. Anyway, we have my last figure. Let's see. Ah, uh, one of my favorites. We have King Ghidorah himself. Oh, wait, no, this is one more figure after this. So we have King Ghidorah, the three headed dragon himself. His articulation could be a lot better. He can only move at the base of his neck and the tip of his neck. His wings can move out, his legs can move forward, and he has battle damage. Let's see. Yeah, he's really nice. Alrighty, and for the last figure, we have Godzilla Evolved. Let's take a look at him. So his lore is Godzilla gets a distress signal from Hollow Earth and feels to defeat his foes. He needs to evolve, becoming the alpha, becoming an alpha species of his. 
Instead of being chubby and blue, he now has a bigger head, longer arms, thinner legs, and he's a lot slimmer, and he's pink. He's pink, yep. He's actually, I like the pink and the blue just as much as the one out of the other, but that's just me. Anyway, thank you for letting me talk about Monster vs. Lore. Now, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to dispose of you. Because if you tell your mom what happened here, I'm definitely gonna get arrested. So, good night.